Reagan's visit, and of course, nothing else but happy birthday, America. Let's do it again for the President of the United States and the United States of America. He can see you. Let's wave. I take it the president is in sight. He does have a little ways to travel and some arrangements yet to be made. Navy Choir, thank you. We'll call that your round of applause. And let's have one more number from the Decatur Spirit Band. Congressman Jack Edwards. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Mr. President, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, please join us with the Decatur Spirit Band and the U.S. Navy Choir in singing our national anthem, please. Yeah. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we would ask that those of you who have seats, please take them now so that those who are in the back can have increased visibility. Mr. President, as a representative of your host here in Alabama today at the Spirit of America Festival, the 18th annual, by the way, I would like to welcome you on behalf of the thousands of Americans who are celebrating our great holiday this day and also have a special presentation for you, if you would be patient just for a moment. I have two young people we need to have you meet just now, and they should be coming on stage right now. Mr. President, these are your official escorts this 4th of July. And they are Missy Friend from Decatur Brownie Troop 405. She's eight years old. And Mr. Michael Zeller, also from Decatur, Alabama, eight years old, who's a member of the Minor B League Indians, and he plays shortstop. <laughs> they will escort you to the podium, Mr. President, because we have a great honor to bestow upon you. We now hereby proclaim President Ronald Wilson Reagan as the first official Grand Marshal of the 18th Annual Spirit of America Celebration, but the first, first Spirit of America 4th of July Parade. So, Mr. President, the parade begins now. Drum Major Sean Donahue from Decatur. Captain Mike Mallard, Point Mallard mascot. Portrayed by Darren Whitsitt of Decatur. Brownie Troop number 405, sponsored by the Elks Lodge. here today. Here are some of those young people from the Southeastern Tang Su Do Karate Studio.
delivering a personal cheer for the President of the United States. As a part of the 4th of July, Mr. President, we have eight young people representing the Decatur Swim Association, which competes in events all across the Southeast. Maybe you haven't had time on your busy schedule yet, but here we have Ewok of Star Wars. <laughs> portrayed by Charlie Marmon, who is a football player at Austin High School, by the way. Demonstrations of dance, and these young people are from Kim's School of Dance, representing over 200 students, students from the Decatur area. Next, we have the Calhoun Twisters gymnastic team. They compete on the state level. gentleman coming is the Spirit of American King Paul, King Paul Ball Drunk contestant, Mr. Clint Montgomery of Decatur. Fourth of July is all for young people. These gentlemen are from the Decatur Boys Club. And theater is a part of our lives too. The Dreamweavers Children's Theater with costumes worn for their productions of Snoopy and Peter Pan. Troop number 336. We also had a breeze pole climbing contest. This is Mr. Greg Hendricks, one of those contestants. And if you have the Boy Scouts, we have to have the Girl Scouts. Here they are, Troop 386 from Decatur. Other karate demonstrators were from the Silent Fury Karate Institute. And the next gentleman has performed in your neighborhood. Mr. Ronlin Foreman, a professional mimus, has performed at the Kennedy Center and Wolf Trail Farm Park in Washington and the International Mime Festival. Next, we have the Cut Scouts from Pack 90. Scout Exposition 1984. What is a Fourth of July without beauty queens, Mr. President? Here we have a collection of young ladies who entered pageants at the local and state and national levels from right here in North Alabama. And aren't they all very lovely on this Fourth of July? We will conclude our 1984 Miss Point Matter pageant tonight, Mr. President, preliminary for Miss Alabama. And I present to you the rating Miss Point Matter 1983, Angie Stepp, and Miss Alabama 1984, Tammy Little. Well, Mr. President, that concludes our parade. As the official Grand Marshal, again, we welcome you and we turn the podium over to you for a 4th of July address.